Hello, welcome again. As usual, it's always a pleasure to be here with you learning and applying these learning to our lives because we want to have, everyone wants to be happy. We all really want to have the life that we thought as a child that we wanted to have and we didn't see our parents having. But the question is, why did this happen to us? How did we get where we are today? Because misinformation. That's how we got there. And one of the biggest thing, misinformation that I've been hearing about, and both sides, men and women, are talking about where they don't need each other. There was one individual on TikTok. Um, she was saying that, you know, that women are content being by themselves. They're happy. You know, that's, again, either she did not know or she's... Um, simply speaking out of her own emotions or feeling or experience and, or at the same time people will say things because you didn't get what you wanted so what else can you say except I don't need a man why that makes you feel good that's just soothing yourself same thing with men it has nothing to do that you don't want that person you do want it but because you did not get it what else can you say be honest about it and tell people okay I couldn't find the right person so I'm gonna stay by myself right now but we want to feel good. So we're going to say things that's really ridiculous and stupid in the eyes of God. Because why? If what you say was true, you would not be here. None of us would be here. There's a purpose for every woman and there's a purpose for every man. God created everything with a purpose. You have a purpose. You have a mission. And you were sent here to complete that mission. Okay. So how important is a woman or vital is a woman in a man's life. And I think both gender don't really understand this well at all. Because why? We are not taught that. We're taught to go after their looks, after the money. They do six figure or our desires. Everything but the real purpose why we are here. So how important is a woman? A woman is vital to the existence of mankind and to the existence of God creation, the purpose of his creation. That's how vital she is. What does that mean? A woman is the vessel that brings souls into this world. I will say it again. A woman is the vessel that brings souls into this world. When God created Adam, he says, go forward, be fruitful, and multiply. What did that mean? I mean, we really didn't understand what that means. Go forward, be fruitful. Or am I just supposed to act like an animal, have a bunch of kids, push a bunch of kids out? You know, what, just populate the earth? No. That is not the intent when God says, go forth and be fruitful and multiply. In order to be fruitful and multiply, man is commended to do that. Not the woman, but the man. So... How can I obey God's command without the woman? Gentlemen, if you're watching this, you give me the answer. Why? Because God told you to do something, and he gave you the woman to do it, and you refusing to do it because you know better, or God did not know in January, February, April of 2000, that 2024 that God would not know this was going to happen. God is, what, short-sighted. He did not know this was going to go on this time. Even so, Eliezer, the future. And Eliezer said, do not let me born in this time. So it shows God knows the future. But at the same time, we have to understand, we are commended. We are not simply here to lay in the sun, have a, the kind of life that we think we want or supposed to have. That's not the intention because there's a purpose. There's a purpose for you as a man. There's a purpose for the woman. So what is one of the woman's major vital purpose in a man's life? She is the gateway for the soul to come into this world. And a man is commanded to get married. And the reason you have to get married and have children is because there are souls that are waiting to come down here to complete their mission. The same way you have a mission right now. Every one of you is watching this. You have a mission. The question is, are you fulfilling your mission? Because God is giving you 50, 60, 70, 80 years to complete that mission. The question is, did you? Abraham, 
Isaac, Yaakov, Moses. It took Moses 60 years to refine himself to become the vessel to complete his mission. Abraham, 40 years to become a vessel to complete his mission. We all have a mission. And the woman is vital. Without her, we cannot complete our mission. Understand that. Anyone that speaks outside of that is going against God. When you go against God, you are considered wicked evil. That's what evil is. Evil is to go against God's word. That's what evil means, okay? Good means to do or obey what God says to do. That's what good is, following his commandment. So what happened is that your purpose here is for the man and the woman to come together to unite. To bring soul that's up in heaven waiting to come down here because they have unfinished business they didn't complete in a previous life. And these soul that needs a body in order to come into this world to complete their mission. And you as a husband and the woman as a wife been created to provide that vessel for the soul to come into this world. The same way you are here today. Your soul is in your body right now, but there are Shema, soul that are waiting to come down here. And again, we are commended to do this as men, not the woman, but men. So again, this falls on you. And you need to understand your mission cannot be completed without the woman. That's how vital she is because without her, you're... You're meaningless as far as completing your mission. You didn't complete it because when you get upstairs, God's going to say to you, you failed. You failed because why? You thought you knew better. I created you. I have laws. I have rules in this world. And I commanded you. This is what you need to do. I sent you down here to, and you did not complete your purpose. So you need to understand that women are beautiful beautiful people they have tremendous capacity ability to help the man become the perfect vessel of course she is too but again that's her beauty she has unlimited strength if you ever seen a woman a woman listen to this a woman can raise 10 children on her own and 10 children cannot help the mother where is that ability coming from? You have 10 kids and they can't take care of one mother, but one mother can take care of 10 children. Man, we couldn't do it if we wanted to. It would not be easy. We, it would not be easy. We could try, but we can't. But the point I'm giving here, I'm trying to make is that they've been giving, they have been giving this ability to get us where we need to be. We need to find the right woman, the right man, to fulfill the command God has given men because we've been in charge of populating the world and God has given us the woman to do what he created all of us to do so we all have a very important role but again when you look at it without her there is no mission we can't complete our mission and certainly you don't want to go upstairs and tell God these nonsense you're telling yourself your friends or even on here thinking that you know what you're talking about because time is ticking. You are at 40, 50, 60, whatever the age may be, time is ticking. And then when you get upstairs, you have to give account for why didn't you do it? Because God says, I'm giving you the time to complete the mission. It's God. But this is what we need to do as men understand how valuable, how vital a woman is to our mission are existing because they are part of us and we need to understand the soul were once one and god ripped the soul apart he ripped the soul apart brought you down here to reunite create the vessel which is the vessel is the body and what did god says raise him in my ways not your ways because the body may be yours but the soul that i'm gonna put inside this body belongs to me and you are obligated to teach this soul about your god our god and again share this is something for you to ponder on to think about how important and i never
stick over and 